34 years of age for Arlovsky. He stands 6'4", two inches taller than Anthony Johnson. And there you see the weight differential here in the heavyweight class. 15 pounds in favor of Arlovsky. As we remind you once again, the codes of combat here, the World Series of Fighting and 10-point must system. Three judges will score this fight, and it's based on effective striking, grappling, aggression, and cage control. No kicks or knees to the head of a grounded opponent. So all the business is taken care of. This is the main event, and for the official introductions, we sent back inside the cage. Here's Tim Hughes. Ladies and gentlemen, this is your main event of the evening. Three rounds in the World Series of Fighting Heavyweight Division. Our judges cage side for this bout, Henry Crawling, Vincent Sinclair, and Carlos Rodriguez. The referee in charge of the World Series of Fighting Cage at the opening bell, Kevin Mulhall. And now, Atlantic City, the world is watching. Can you feel it? Both of these big men coming off of decisive knockout victories at World Series of Fighting One with a combined 24 knockouts between them. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner, a true mixed martial artist, trained in kickboxing and wrestling. His professional record, 15 wins with four losses. Standing six feet, two inches tall, he weighed in at 230 and one half pounds. Training with the Black Zillions and fighting out of his hometown of Rents, Georgia, by way of Boca Raton, Florida. Introducing Anthony And now his opponent opposite the cage, fighting out of the red corner, a Sambo fighter. Making his way back up the world heavyweight ranks. His record, 19 wins, 9 losses. At 6 feet 4 inches tall, he weighed in at 245 and 1 half pounds. Training at Jackson's MMA and fighting out of Minsk, Belarus, by way of Albuquerque, New Mexico. He is the former UFC heavyweight champion, ladies and gentlemen, Andre the Pitbull Arlovsky. Once again, your referee is Kevin Mulhall. Okay, fighters. Okay, guys, you've both been given your rules. A good, clean fight. Obey my commands at all times. Defend yourself at all times. If you want to touch gloves, do it now. Come out fighting. So we are set to go with the main event here from Rebel in Atlantic City. This is the main event World Series of Fighting 2. Anthony Johnson going head to head with Andre Arlovsky. Nick, you good? Woo. Nick, you good? Okay, fighters, are you ready? Are you ready? You ready? Let's fight! Everybody yeah, go. Knockout experience, you know, percentage. 19 wins for Arlovsky, 14 knockouts. 15 wins for Rumble, 10 knockouts. So, what they were, and what you would say, he's simple. Everything they hit, he destroys. <laughs> Nice. Nice. Oh, a straight shot. Yeah, that's a golden oldie as well in Thai boxing. That's training with Thai won't spawn, I guarantee you that. Like Jones. Well, well, of course, with the uh, opening. Two of the premier camps now with Jackson's MMA out of New Mexico, and of course the Black Zillions by way of Florida. Ooh. You see those big punches coming here. I'm almost glad they're not landing this early in the fight because that much bad intention on the end of that level, that's going to drop someone quickly. There's no, almost, almost no jabs. Everything is powerful. Look at this. Oh, that last hook. If that would have landed. Yep. Ay, ay, ay. You can feel it here. This one's scheduled for three rounds in the heavyweight division. And gonna go three rounds. Anthony Johnson in the red trunks, Andre Arlovsky in the black trunks. That's a big man, Arlovsky. Just quick on his feet, equal 
Cowboys impressive with Anthony Johnson with those leg kicks. Answer with one with the other over the top of the 6'4 Olafson. Yeah, but he just throws it up there. You know, it's cool when you know that you only have to land a clean shot. The only thing you need to do is set it up in such a way that your opponent can't detect it. And that's it. Well, it's not it's really easy, but it's, it's not, of course. Wow, oh, nice combination. A lot of power behind those punches. What do you give the hand speed advantage to in this one, Lodge? Because it looks like Johnson's got the perfect hand, but then he also comes back with combinations. Yep, no, I get it. I'm with you there. Now, Lodge, you really have to watch out when he yeah. throws a right straight for the count of left hook of Johnson because it's a murderous weapon there. I like those kicks. Yep. See him more and more often in this martial arts. Nice job of friction. Saw that Moran Nam fight, and it keeps the guy guessing. It keeps your opponent guessing where you're going to come from next. That's it. One of those kicks go to the knees. There's no hit movement whatsoever. You can't tell it's coming. I like to do front kicks like that as well. And maybe you can't knock your opponent out with this, but you just stretch him. Nice right hook there. Big shot. Good defense. And now it goes for a takedown. Good defense coming from Arlovsky. Nice sprawl there up against the cage. Nothing doing. You see, and this is what I mentioned in the opening. Now it's going to be Arlovsky's head. Even if he doesn't complete the takedown, now he's going to think, okay, he might go for it. Good stomp. One minute, yeah, 40 seconds, say, oh, AJ, keep working. So, so effective yes. foot stuff, I've never seen a fight stop by a foot stop. Coming up on 90 yeah, seconds of this yeah, one, yeah. round one, scheduled for three here in Atlantic City. Be busy, guys. So the next on my Twitter set, our stomps are out of the hands, and I go, that is a good uh, question. I bet you that's See effective. Three and a half minutes of very fast pace. Kevin Moho has to separate him, bring him back to the center of the cage. And I think, personally, the Lord of the Fight goes, the more goes, leads to Alaski. Because he is in great shape. Yeah. Anthony Johnson is 231 pounds out here. That's a lot of weight there. He doesn't need to carry more. This is where Arlovsky really can excel. He weighs 15 pounds more than Johnson, so he's picking up against the cage and maybe getting him 30 bucks and bring his knees up. Very smart. Yeah, I would. I, I love it, you know. I'm all about putting like that ass up there. You know what I mean? You use that for it. Hang on. Working now, it's working. Let him carry it. I'm trying to eat too sweet as well. Only needs to hang now. Doesn't need to cost him five. Slow Johnson down. And that's something you really want because it's extremely explosive. Final 10 seconds of round number one. Oh, that was a short by Johnson again. Good exchange from both. Oh! Gets him to the canvas. Oh, Arlovsky down again. And the bell ends it. The bell ends the first round. Was it a stoppage or was it the end of the round? No, 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 it was not. That fight's not over. No, nope. the bell came before Kevin Moha stopped the fight, so literally saved by the bell is Andre Arlovsky. Whoa! Ho -ho. You see, now you, you understand that two seconds in a lifetime can make a huge difference. Yeah, that fight goes two more seconds, and I think Kevin Moho puts an end to it. Andre Arlovsky heard the 10-minute warning. It seems like he looked, just lightened up just momentarily, and Anthony Johnson came at him with a flurry. Seconds out! Seconds out! Seconds out! Nice reference by Moho. Greg Jackson talking to his fighter, Andre Arlovsky. Be interesting to see what he said. Meanwhile, it's Anthony Johnson now with a ton of momentum as we get ready for round number two. And Arlovsky felt the power. The question is, is that going to be a victory now in his head? You got to shake that off and just don't care. 
Round number two underway. Anthony Rumble Johnson, who ended that first round with a flurry in the red trunks. Andre Olowski in the black trunks. And the big question is, was that time enough for him to clear the complex? Because he got rocked. Counter left hook. He's going to watch out for that counter left hook. Johnson starting to warm up. Finding his mark on Orlovsky, and Orlovsky decides to tie him up and bring some knees. Great take down defense. Needs to feel that handoff from Johnson. He cannot let his hands get locked behind his legs because that could be a takedown. And a nice wide stance, so it makes it very hard to lock. Again, again. Preferably, breathe, you want to score breathe, breathe, behind the knees for leverage. Let's work. Keep up his legs. Keep up his legs. Knee him. <laughs> so you have to watch out for that because that's the big shot. That's the one off, time you really should do that twice. You move. What are you doing training? You move first. Hold on, hold. Knee. Knee, 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 knee. Well, this is a situation where normally you probably don't favor Andre Lovasco. He's the smaller Anthony Johnson now. He's got Olowski pinned up against the cage, and Kevin Moho seeing enough, he's going to separate him and bring him back to the center. Play out. I remember the fight against DJ Linderman back in November. 
Same kind of situation. Low shot. Anthony Johnson came out a little angry. Remember how that ended? He had an eye poke and he came out a little motivated. Decided, you know what? I have enough of this. But I have to think that Anthony Johnson really has got to be playing to Andre Arlovsky's favor on this kind of attack. I have no clue why he would do this. And I'm telling you, with his corner, Anthony Johnson's corner, say, why are you shooting? Because his combinations have certainly been fighting their home on the chin of Andre Arlovsky. Rumble Johnson looks like he is getting gassed here. <laughs> yeah, still got 10 more seconds in the second round. He's wasted a lot of energy trying to complete this takedown. And this is going to get a good QA to an upstairs. So we will go to a decisive third and final round here in Atlantic City. Trying to listen in with Anthony Johnson. Yeah, he's a Dutch guy here. He uh, who's talking to him. Uh, they brought a Dutch Thai boxing coach over, which is a very smart okay. thing to do. Okay. Because Anytime you want the great Dutch strikers, the, the best strikers in the world. And he says you got to use your hand speed and leg speed. Johnson's looking great, he's not fatigued. This is uh, this is a great weight class for him then. Two big men giving it their all here in the third and final round. Still a great reflex. He slid that punch, that was nice. Slipped it to the side. Back in Atlantic City, New Jersey, this is Rebel Ovation Hall. Andre Arlovsky on the right side of your screen in black. Anthony Johnson on the left in the red. All right, boss, go to your scorecard. How do you have this one so far? Right now, I would say Johnson is ahead in the 10-8 round. You know, he really did some damage in round number one, almost finished it, but just before that, round two, I believe, as well. And if he listened to his corner during that break, it was definitely keep this thing standing, making a striking war here for the last five minutes. And that's what he should do. He's got all that big power. He should throw it. Nice kick underneath there. Wow, he's rocking Orlovsky. Yep. And once again, goes into his corner and drops his head. And his, and his corner men are so frustrated. You know, I, I, I think we can't tell, but he probably is tired as well. Yep. And he tries to take a break as well. But he's clearly ahead in this fight, but this just gives Andre Kosky a chance to regroup and possibly pull something off in the way of submission. Yeah, you know, that's going to be hard from this stance, a guillotine, but you know, I, I, he, he's too big of a veteran for that. Great, nice break here. Get a right ball. Ball. Really saves it. Anthony Johnson there. They want him to stay outside and just strike. He's dominating now. Nice kicks. They come out of nowhere. And, and every time at the right moment, Orlovsky has that defense up. The only time when Orlovsky doesn't have defense is when he strikes himself. You see, even with the front kick, he drops his hands. Has to watch out for that. It needs one power shot. Johnson, it could be over. I think Johnson never has been knocked out in his life. I assume he's got a really strong chin. Arlovsky tries a spinning back kick as we go under two and a half minutes to go in this fight. 
Anthony Johnson once again gasping for air, trying to recover. And Andre Arlovsky goes into that sprawl against the cage. These guys are both just absolutely spent, Bob. Yeah, you know, and it, it is. They threw out with a lot of energy. Yeah. But the first round has so much action, especially at the end of round number one. Round number two, not quite as quick, and here they are. Coming up on 13 minutes of fighting inside the World Series of Fighting Cage. Arlovsky's going to need a knockout. If he wants to do something, he's got to do it now. He's got a minute 45 left. And he's got to throw out everything he's got. Now, Johnson is tired because that's the reason he's fighting like this. I will start attacking the body. Because he's never been knocked out to the head. Maybe the body will work. Burst of life coming from Andre Arlovsky, and that just wakes up. Anthony Rumble Johnson trying to size him up and again his corner up in arms wondering why he would shoot when the striking was working so well. You know what? What I do know is the fight of myself. I've been there. People don't know what's going on. Maybe he broke a hand. Maybe something is hurt. You know, there's many factors here that he's trying to play it safe at this moment. Maybe he's so simply tired. <laughs> You know? But what if he hurt one of his heads? You yeah, see all his reflexes are there, he just ducks the left too. Or right, whatever it was. Final 30 seconds of the night. If Volovsky wants to do something, he's got to do it now. Anthony just holding on for dear life. Can he survive the final 15? Oh. He plays it safe. Just holds. And I will ask him why he did that. That is it. It will go to the judges. An absolute war between Andre Arlovsky and Anthony Johnson. And this one will go to the judges here in Atlantic City, New Jersey. Well, the turning point really may have been in this fight, Boz, at the end of round number one. An absolute fury with 15 seconds to go. And here is Anthony Johnson turning it on. Good exchange from both. That was the big blow there, the right hook, and another big one. And that was the bell. He was still okay. You know, Anthony yeah. Johnson thought he had the win. But he didn't. And it didn't demotivate him because he came out again in round number two, and especially after the coin shot. We will have the official decision and talk to the winner when we return to Atlantic City. Rebel Ovation Hall is the site. You're watching the World Series of Fighting. Well, a great night of fights have come to a conclusion here in Atlantic City, New Jersey. Revel and Ovation Hall have been a great host. Right now, we take a look at Andre Arlovsky and Anthony oh, Rumble Johnson. This was in the first round. The pace was fast. It was furious. And at the end, it was the fury by Anthony Rumble Johnson that really rocked Andre Arlovsky. And the confusion was, had the bell sound before the official stepped in? The question was yes. Andre Arlovsky technically saved by the bell. He would go on to the second round and survive. 
And here we are, the third round complete, and the decision goes to the judges. Second round, Arlovsky starting to show a little more life, having a little more success, but in the standing war of striking, it was really dominated by the combinations of Anthony Johnson. So for the official decision of the main event of the night, we send it inside, and Tim Hughes has the final word. Ladies and gentlemen, before we give you the decision one more time, Ovation Hall, how about a big hand for both of these warriors in your main event tonight? All three judges score the bout 29-28. Crawwick, Sinclair, and Rodriguez. It is a unanimous decision for your winner, fighting out of the blue corner. You're fighting great at every weight. I mean, heavyweight, you kept your speed, the bombs were landing. What was the game plan going in? I mean, Arlovsky is a great technician. Try not to get hit so hard. That was the game plan. The man hit like a ton of bricks. I have so much respect for him. He's one of my idols, you know what I mean? I watched him whenever he first got on the scene and had the title, lost the title, moved on his career. So I'm just thankful to be able to fight another legend like Andre Arlovsky. How demoralizing was it for you after the end of round? You thought you, you won at the end of round number one, but then they said, no, 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 it was the bell that rang. Did it something to you or you didn't care? It didn't do anything to me. Uh, I was ready to go again if I had to, so. Something seemed to happen. If you get kicked in the pills, you always go, you really bring it. What's the, the thing with that? Normally people don't do that. I don't know. I just <laughs> had an urge to really want to beat him up then, you know what I mean? But. Uh, like you said, he's a great fighter, a great technician, and I'm just honored to be able to fight him. What was the reason that you started clinching? We heard your corner screaming, just go for the punches. I thought maybe you did something, you hurt your hand, maybe you hurt something. I hurt my, my, hand, my right hand at the end of the uh, third round. I hurt my right shin, kicking him. Yeah, look, man, he's a wall, he's a, he's a train, you know what I mean? So I just doing what I had to do. <laughs> it was an unbelievable fight. Is this a weight you're gonna stay at? No, these guys like Andre Arlovsky are too big for Anthony Johnson. But, uh, you know, if the World Series of Fighting asked me to do it, I'll do it again. Has uh, sparring with Tyrone Spong definitely helped you for this fight? Yeah, uh, my boy Tyrone Spong just knocked out Remy Bonjowski in K1, so give a big round of applause for my boy Tyrone. Um, I want to thank my, my team, the Black Zillions, and Glenn Robinson and my coaches and stuff for helping me out so much and being there for me and all my friends and my family, you know? Uh, but yeah, training with Tyrone will get you ready for the big leagues. I know. Anthony, it's a pleasure to see you fight. It doesn't matter what weight class. Thank you very much for tonight. This was a great battle. Ladies and gentlemen, the Rumble, Anthony Johnson. Thank you. Thank you so much, brother.